Kids are getting back into their September routines, and it's a good time for parents to cut back on their screen time. Yeah, the overuse of technology can impact kids' social connections and problem-solving skills. Consumer investigative reporter Leslie Gatiss talked to an Internet safety expert. How can we be better and more thoughtful about how, when, and why we're using this stuff? Katie Greer is an internet safety expert who travels the country talking to kids and adults about the mindful and thoughtful use of technology. When it comes to her top tips for parents, number one is to pay attention to what your kids are doing on their devices and how long they're using them. This can't be something that we just toss at our kids and like cross our fingers that they are going to be okay. It's constant, constant involvement in question asking and being really annoying parents uh, if we want to help our kids be safe and productive on this stuff. She says parents need to familiarize themselves with the apps their kids are using. I don't need you to be on them and be active participants in them, although that helps you understand a little bit better, but um, certainly just know them on a basic level. What do they do? How can you help your kids use their privacy settings to be safer? Who are your kids communicating with? I think those are really basic things that you can do to help your kids with apps. Greer also says it's important to find a healthy balance for your family when it comes to the use of technology. She recommends instituting some screen-free time for everyone. We need to take a break from this stuff as families, as a community, as schools. So being able to do that together, and I don't care if it's as simple as like, you know, 30 minutes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're going to start off with where at dinner when we eat, all this stuff is away and off, and we're taking a break from it. Uh, you know, brain studies show how crucial this is to our mental health and wellness. And schools across Massachusetts and the country are cracking down on students using phones or having phones during class this year. Greer says she is in favor of that effort and says a forced break is good for kids' mental and physical health and social communication, and they are, of course, a distraction. Leslie Gatiss, NBC10 Boston.